uh, let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Yeah, someone's gonna tell me when we're doing the face cam business because I forget every time. What's gonna go? <laughs> What's gonna go? And welcome back to what is another on the sleep video. But today, a plane flies past. But as it does that, we are unboxing the Rockwaza EX10. Now, everyone said in the comment section that like, Ando. I know you got bad pulls in the Hooper, which if I haven't checked that one out, make sure you check it out. Link right there. But they said, if you got bad pulls in that one, we can only imagine the pulls you get on the Rayquaza EX10. Let's unbox this 10 right here and hopefully have everyone have your fingers crossed right now and we can get absolutely insane pulls in this one. So uh, on the front of the 10 though, everything's exactly the same. We've been getting a lot of Requires products lately, so I'll sort of go through this one. Um, we've got Requires on the front, we've got a cool looking promo card, which surprisingly, it's different once again. Uh, the 10 though, pretty much the same. We've got Hooper there, we've got good old Latios, and then we got Requires on the other side. And there's these like crazy spiral designs because someone got bored at Pokemon, they're like, wee, look at my circles. Like, that's going on the tin. That's brilliant. And then we've got the uh, three different Pokemon at the back and the lovely mysterious barcode, which looks absolutely fantastic. But without further ado, I'm just going to crack straight into this one and we're going to get into the promo card and the four different boost packs. Let's do it. It's because we're flying, 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 flying. Okay, first up in the requires tin, everyone knows what we're going to do. We're going to give away the magical code, so make sure you grab that one. Only take one code at a time. But guys, check it out. We've got the Requaza EX. Now, I know what you're thinking, Ando. I've literally got a dumpster out the front of my house, and it's filled with promo Requazas because there's been so many boxes, so many tins. Hold your pants on. This one is awesome. Check it out. Um, I don't know why. I really do like it. There's like a cloud sort of thing here. Uh, the attacks are really brutal. The HP is absolutely on point. And uh, the artwork is like pretty cool. I mean, he's like flying through space. We can't argue with that. He's just doing his thing. You know, F1 flies through space now and again. Uh, but nevertheless, you can definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Is it overdone? Or uh, I'm pretty sure this will probably be the last Requires product we'll see in a while. But we'll put that one at the back. Cool looking promo card. Oh gosh, don't fall down the back. There we go. But guys, the real reason why we open this up is to see what could possibly be in the four different boost packs. So here we go. We've got a Primal Clash, Roaring Skies, and two Ancient Origins. Let's go the same order as yesterday and hopefully... That means that we can get some sort of absolute... Oh, gosh, what have I done here? Oh, my... I've ruined it. Just like my math exam. Absolutely gone down the toilet. All right, let's get this out. There's the code for you guys. Hopefully, let's focus up. There we go. And fingers crossed. Every get your fingers crossed? Hopefully, you have. And let's do this thing. Three from the back. Swing it right around. Mr. Mime. He's absolutely terrified. He's all... What are they... They kind of look like fish eggs. <laughs> do they? They kind of look caviar fish eggs sort of thing? I don't know. They kind of do. All right, so we're going to Macargo there. We've got a Seedra... We got a Tangler. Oh gosh, is this looking good? We get a Torchic, a Meryl doing like a cartwheel because he just does cartwheels now and again. Reverse Nido Queen. Oh no! What is that? It's a Hollow Mayonnaise trick. Oh, that's disgusting. Are you kidding me? Why? Why torture me? It's like eight in the morning. I don't need this in my life. <sighs> let's just put him to the. It's a Hollow, so we can't throw him across the room. Let's just pretend that never happened, and let's move on to the Roaring Skies. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Let's keep going. So we get a Roaring Skies next. Hopefully, Thunderous EX. By the way, guys, I nearly died this morning. So get this. I was having my English muffin. I cut it in half. And as I cut it in half, like, a bit of the white bread fell in the toaster. And <laughs> being, I don't know, being Ando, being, like, the way I think, I'm like, oh, man, it's going to suck. Dad's going to kill me if he sees it in the toaster. Let me just get the nearest knife, put it in the toaster, and scoop it out. Yeah, that's, that was my thought process. I'm not kidding. I picked the knife up right. I had it in my hand. Let me focus this up. Had the knife in my hand, and I was about to scoop it down. Wait, 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 wait. Had the knife in my hand, and I was about to scoop... <laughs> was about to scoop the uh, white bread out. I'm like, something at school told me not to put metal objects into the toaster. And then I remembered, oh, yeah, that's right. You'll get electrocuted to death. So uh, that was... A very close near-death story. I could have died before we even opened the Requaza EX10, but at the moment, it's probably not even worth it. Look at the pulls we're getting. This is not good. We got two absolutely appalling pulls. Let's hope for the Ancient Origins, the second to last one, it can come through with the goods. Oh, gosh. I'm going to cry. I literally am. All right, here we go. Second to last booster, guys. you got to help me out right now. Let's go three from the back. I'm going to cry in a second. We've got a Flash NG. Things are getting really tense right now. We'll get a Rotom. It's a Hex Maniac. We've got an Eevee. 
Porygon, a Beltoy. Melmar looking pretty cool. Reverse Porygon. Oh god, that was a fail. Regular rare flipping Entei. Holy mother duck. Oh my gosh, Aunt Jemima. We're looking at a full regular rare. Oh my what well, is a holo, but yeah. Two uh two regular rares and one holo out of the three boosters. This is the Mega Requaza boost pack out of the Requaza EX10 with the Requaza EX promo card. Do you think with that much Requaza we can do it? You know what we have to do? Shake it up, everybody. Blow it for me. <sighs> Hopefully that worked. And let's just go to Gold Town. Let's go. If we sing enough James... Is that James Bond? That's no, Mission Impossible. <laughs> if we sing enough Mission Impossible, just maybe we can get the pulls. We're doing this once and for all. Swing it right round. We get a paint roller here. Looking pretty... Oh, gosh. Here we go. Looking pretty cool. A Porygon 2. Vaporeon. Beldum. An unknown. We get a Bow Toy. Cottony. Quagsire just digging a hole to China. Then we've got a reverse Vaporeon. And guys, this is the last one of the Requaza. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man. Oh, my life just gets worse and worse. Two tins are down and we got nothing. Nothing. It, like, this is so frustrating right now. All we got... Is this real? I, I do like the promo cards, like, don't get me wrong, they're sweet. But I would, like, this much, like, something, maybe my tins, the luck has gone down the gurgler. There, <laughs> there's the Arrakwaza uh, EX card. It looks pretty cool, I do like it. But, we have one tin left in the Power Trio tins, which is this one right here. Make sure you smash the annotation right below my face cam, and it'll take you straight to this opening, which, <sighs> fingers crossed, we can get something in. Everybody, I want you to just go, like, go home right now. Pray to the Pokemon Gods. Let Arceus know your boy wants something in this team. But most of all, guys, we do have a fantastic day. But most of all, hopefully enjoy this opening. Keep on gaming. See you then, guys.